Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. So I'm getting ready, it's my friend's birthday. I'm driving to Manchester to see her and she's having a little house party, I think. House party, barbecue, honestly. I'm just getting ready and rocking up. So also I did my nails bright pink. But I thought while I'm getting ready, I could talk all about the house because it's getting a bit closer. So I just kind of want to talk about colour schemes, furniture, extras that we've got for the house. Just all about the house, really. Um, just while I do my makeup, because just in case someone's interested. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. Also, I've never used cinematic mode with the back camera when filming. And I feel like... This is a game changer and the quality looks a lot better. But anyway, I've just primed my eyelids. So, I'm also going to be talking about what I'm doing with my makeup because I say I won't, but then I just ramble on and I just keep going on about it. I think I just might do some blue or green, to be honest. Um, I could just do like, I can maybe like a lime green or a blue everywhere and some graphic liner, just something a bit different. Um, I'm just looking at the Mama Mitchell palette. I really like this one. Or I did yellow the other time I went out, so I don't want to do yellow again. But I've got a few palettes to mess around with, so let's just see. Oh, no, I'll prime after. So... Oh, God, I don't know what to do now. Why did I say I'd do green or blue? Why couldn't I just... Nah. We'll be fun. I've got a bit of yellow left on this. Maybe I could mix a bit of green in for like a greeny yellow. It was about October. I mean, Owen, we were just sort of having a little chat, really, about moving out. Um, Because we'd said that in 2022, we wanted to get a house. Like, we definitely said that, but obviously our funds weren't really relating to that. Because um, I'd just started a new job and so had Owen. Um, but Owen did have a bit saved anyway for a deposit. Um, just from, like, I don't know, his life, to be honest. I was never a saver, which if I ever have children, I will teach them to make sure they're putting savings because I just never did and I regret um, not having savings because the houses are just expensive. So we were, it was literally like the end of October, we both started our new jobs and we were just having a little chinwag about it to be honest. And we were like, when we actually think about it, if we're gonna be putting like a lot of money away, we could, um, which we have been doing, we could realistically have a house in like, may um so literally next month um and we were like why aren't we doing that like why are we not just saving basically everything we have bearing in mind we do have we did have two holidays books um but neither of us knew about it because we would booked it for the other surprises so that was not very helpful but you know what it's been okay but we just basically spoke about it and then after that conversation we um it we just sort of left it and said yeah yeah we'll start looking so then we started looking um just after new year's eve because we went to edinburgh and cardiff around uh just after christmas in that week and we'd had a really nice time and we were just thinking about houses and i'd been looking while we were away because obviously once you have that conversation you are a little bit excited so but i just couldn't find anything like I want to live where I live now. I really like it here. I think it's really important to be near family um, because they're not here forever and that is a depressing thing to say, but honestly, I'd just rather be near family right now and um, just, yeah, be able to spend as much time with them as possible. So it was one of them things where we were like, oh, I, I don't really like anything. Then literally two days after I'd said that, these houses popped up on right move i think it was on right move like in the area um because we want a new build house we are getting a new build house um just because we want it done like we don't have the money to res um oh my god what's it called well we just don't have the money to refurbish a house we don't have the money to do a renovation that's the word because my parents are doing it and 
uh, sorry about that. My dad just started shouting about going to the shop. So, yeah. I've no idea what I was up to, but I was just thinking I was just talking about the house and that um, we saw some. So, we found a few in the area that were just okay, but the floor plans, I don't know if this is anyone else. So, there's loads of new builds, obviously, but some you just know have really bad reputations um just because there's been a lot of documentaries or you can look at reviews on places which is what we did and then the others for some reason all of them were like open plan downstairs like there was just no wall between anything and that for like it's not a huge house you know what i mean we can't afford a huge house it felt just so lazy like all the open plan and it's like god imagine someone's cooking for heaters and it's all smoky and just sat on the sofa trying to watch something like no i just wanted a bit of difference so we saw these houses went to the area like the area and then we were like right what are we going to do because we really like these houses but um god when we this is january so i don't think the house that we had was even built yet um but we were emailing someone back and forth and had meetings and stuff i've had so many meetings about this house um but yeah they released it to us early so we could reserve the one we wanted because it wasn't they all come out in sort of stages like Stage one will be like the ones that are doing first, then stage two. So ours was going to be ready in May. It has been delayed. Not by long, by literally like a month. Like we're meant to be moving in in June, which is quite scary. Um, so yeah, it's like we've reserved it. We've not paid for it yet because we've not signed contracts. So it's really going to make me laugh. Like sometimes I don't want to do these videos because I'm like, what if it all falls through? But then at the same time, I feel like it's right. And if it did if it did fall through, like it's just life, isn't it? It's just life, but everything's on track for it not to. You know what I mean? Like we've got a mortgage, we've got everything, but we've got the deposit, so it should be okay. But so yeah, that is sort of our journey. Um, although a lot of people say look around, blah blah blah. We didn't really do that. <laughs> We probably did for a few days, but then I feel like when you, you know that a house is right, it's just right. You know what I mean? Um, and funny enough, funnily enough, we've actually spoke to our neighbours, like our new neighbours. I talked to her like, a lot on Facebook and we know who each other are, which is quite nice. So, found it. Um, but yeah, so I was just watching all these videos on YouTube and I was like, why, why has no one got flooring in their new build? Because my parents got a new build the house we were in before and I was just like oh my god I've not even thought about if we have to I knew we had to get some extras because Owen really wanted well we are getting a dishwasher as an extra integrated because there wasn't really a space to put it um you can put like a washing machine in our kitchen fine although I've always wanted a house with a what no yeah a washing machine <laughs> I was like is that the right thing I always wanted that in the bathroom I feel like they do it in Germany, it just, it just makes sense. Like, why is it randomly in the kitchen? But who cares? So, yeah, we're getting that done, which is expensive. They quoted us, like, around 500, and then there was the added extras for all the plugs and stuff, which was just, ugh, annoying. But it's not that deep, is it? It's just a dishwasher. And I'll be grateful for it in the end, because... I was probably umming and ahhing about it. I was like, do we even need one for that price? And Owen was like, you're going to wash up? I was like, no. So here we are. But yeah. So then, when we had our meeting, I was like, right, what are all these extras going to cost us? So the flooring is like over two grand, which is depressing. But it's sort of nice because you get to pick all the flooring you want. Um... But I'm not going to lie, we have gone for the cheapest option of flooring. Just because I feel like if it's that bad, we can just change it in the end. But you want to walk into a house and it feel almost sort of done for you. Especially when you're paying for the house. So, yeah, we just decided 
that we were gonna just get whatever flooring we could um i'll try and put pictures up i was gonna keep it a surprise but then i feel like it's sort of interesting to see so we'll talk about the extras now hey well while we're here so it's so hard to talk and do eyeliner maybe we should do my eyeliner first this eyeliner sort of looks like weird <laughs> horns but i just want to go for something a bit different to be honest i don't know if i should bring it round a little bit more like but i don't know i feel like they're just sort of curved who cares we'll just leave it for now let's get on to the base so face base by bobby brown best thing ever i'm really using this so sparingly but yeah let's talk about the extras so we got to pick our kitchen and we get like um a fridge and everything included which is really good um so i'll see if i can get a picture up of that it's not going to be the same it's just the colours that are the same because we're not having some fancy kitchen. Like, it's only our first house. Um, as much as I would love an island and stuff like that. But it's just with time, you know. Um, so, we've gone for a colour called Breeze. And it looks like a beige. It's sort of like a grey beige. Like, it's not white. It's an off-white colour, which I want. Um, and then we've got, like, a white splash back where the hob is um I, I can't remember what the handles are like but if i can find them i'll put a picture up but we got to pick that and we got to pick inside we're having like a beigey color inside when you open it as well like it won't just be white which is quite a nice touch um i mean it was just a bit random to be honest but i was like mm, yeah we could we could just not we could have it a little bit different you know um just why not so that's what we went for and then for the flooring we've gone for a really pale like um all the flooring's vinyl it's just like a pale really light wood sort of look alike it's not wood but it looks like wood type thing so yeah like i keep getting distracted sorry light wood light wood i'm trying to think if it's white i'm tr you'll see on the picture anyway and then you got the option of carpet as well but i'm not a carpet person right i spill i don't have carpet here i don't know if you can see i, I doubt you can see i don't have carpet anywhere don't like it even rugs are just a struggle i mean i'll be getting rugs because they're cute but it's all a bit of a struggle i'm not gonna lie so also i'm just using the charlotte tilbury like uh brush thing <laughs> i can't remember the name of it now spray my sponge it needs a bit of moisture but going back in um so i've got minimal carpet so i've got carpet in our main bedroom just because it, i feel like owen really wanted it and it, we've gone for i don't have a picture of it honestly there wasn't a lot of options with the carpet so we've gone for an off-white because i feel like white stains are a no-no so an off-white is a little bit better. So up the stairs, the landing and our bedroom are the only places that have carpet because I doubt we're going to be really eating a lot in the bedroom anyway. I mean, I'm not going to be having a full meal in bed because um, I actually need to get out of the house now. But then again, I don't want to. If I just want to watch something, I can go in my own living room. Like my parents aren't going to be in there watching The Chase and I can't watch anything, which weirdly is just a really nice feeling that you can just do whatever you want in your own house. So that is that. My, my eyebrows look small so i also got some new things to try so i got a new foundation i always use tray leeches i think but i got um amaretto amaretti this time which is this one which it looks a bit darker and i was hoping for it to be lighter so that isn't the best but i might i'm just honestly my natural moisturizer i haven't faked hand my natural moisturizer is not sticking to my chest but i just might have to blend a bit down put a bit of bronzer which is fine or mix in something but yeah i'm gonna see the color and then i'll carry on with our flooring choices 
oh it is it looks a bit dark risk it might just add a tiny bit of concealer in just so it's not you know although it is more neutral so hopefully it'll be a better shade i've just not fake tanned because you know he's got time for that right now it just didn't fit in with me, me fake tanning schedule if i'm being honest because i need to be tanned in like two days like fresh tan so that is why tiny bit but yeah let's carry on with flooring so that is that and then we've gone for a sort of similar color to what's in here like um a medium brown wood for the hallway the lounge second bedroom and the third bedroom um which i think is just better for me it's what i wanted so i'm quite happy with that to be honest um and then our downstairs bathroom which is quite fun our downstairs and main bathroom are patterns that they had um they didn't have a lot of options for the floor i'm not gonna lie but again first house like i'm not getting all this fancy flooring um so we went for a blue and white pattern which we just have like a really small like downstairs bathroom there's not a lot to it so it didn't need to be extravagant so we thought we'd do a little blue theme in there um i really want to do colors i feel like the only neutral room in the house is going to be the kitchen and the main bathroom so talking about the main bathroom we went for a black and white patterned flooring it's going to be more my bathroom it's the one with the bath in it the ensuite will probably where owen puts like his hair stuff and then i'll have all my beauty bits in the main bathroom i think um but yeah we're gonna i'm gonna probably keep that black and white with a bit of pink in i think i think i'm gonna put me a little beauty fridge in there because it's not been plugged in in a while nothing's really been in it i feel like it's just it's just a lot in it so i need to sort that out and then so our ensuite is very gray and black um for tiles on the wall it was extremely limited and i mean i would love to have yellow green pink bathrooms like all the colors um but they were just really neutral so we've gone for like a gray effect tile it's like a tile that has all different specks of gray in it on our ensuite wall with um black tiles on the floor just because it's just best to keep that room neutral to be honest it's sort of probably what owen would prefer anyway i mean he likes color we don't want a boring house i can't stand houses that are just all black or all white um which is so weird because if you asked me about two years ago that's what i would have wanted i would have wanted like bachelor pairs like esque vibes and now i'm like no my god no i need like a farmhousey colorful house I don't know how my foundation's looking to be honest i don't really know if that covered everything but i'm not really wanting to put like loads of makeup on today because it's quite sunny to be honest and i feel like when you've put all your little like bronzer and everything on you just don't need all that although i need to blend down my neck this is the problem when you fake tanning routine does not match up it does my head in because it's just like it's just annoying but basically next week i've got I'm, I'm meeting everyone from my work on my team because it's down south so i want to look my best for that because these people have seen me a lot you know they know that i can fake tan i've just been beat pale for the weekend <laughs> um but yeah so next um oh let me try and think about other extras so they offered to put in i think it was like a tenner to just put in like a cutlery tray and i was like oh just do it like i don't even want to think about having to buy that i know they're probably going to be like two quid but in the moment i was like yeah just do that do that for us please um i have bought a lot of stuff i have a couple of homeware hauls on here which i'm not gonna lie i don't think i feel like i've I was going to do another homeware haul but i've just boxed it all up now so that is just really annoying i'm sorry i don't even know why i brought it up to be honest but it's just life isn't it also did i even say that i got this i got the peach gasm by charlotte tilbury to try and i can't wait but we'll try that just need to put some bronzer on oh um so extras let's talk about that 
Um, if you're looking to buy a new build, the extras can be quite costly. <sighs> I mean, they offered loads with our new build, like, um, what do you call it? Like, fireplaces, um, bespoke kitchens and stuff like that. There was just so much, but they even offered hot tubs for, like, eight grand. I was like, I mean, tempting, but I don't have that kind of money. <laughs> so, we, um, got the cutlery tray really random i know i feel like i just i was like you know what hopefully you can get one that is perfect in a slot um because i just rather it move in and it's already there so the dishwasher the flooring you didn't have to get the flooring you could have done it yourself but again when you when i'm moving in i want it already done i don't want to move in and there's loads to do me and owen just agreed on that even though it, it might have been cheaper to do it ourselves but i feel like it would have been the same and to be honest, I have no idea. Owen's dad is a Tyler though. So he's going to hopefully do up our bathrooms. In a year's time, I want to make the bathroom said funky and colourful. Because they're quite like neutral. Although the pattern flooring is cute. I'd love to do the ensuite something really pretty and green and colourful. Next thing we had to pay for was grass. Which is a bit random. I'm not going to lie. But our house didn't come with grass in the garden it would have just been like soil which if you watch a lot of new people new build vlogs and stuff which i do every single day um i noticed that as well so we asked about that but luckily what i think it was about 200 pound for grass i said we haven't paid for all this yet <laughs> um so it's going to be quite costly and obviously with solicitor fees we're looking at like nearly 5k but it's all right we don't cry about it do we so yeah we got the flooring we got all that i think they were the only extras we got i might be missing something but i really doubt it they had so many to pick from but it just it was not a bit of me oh let's try this really want to have a look oh it's like a fluffy topper you just squeeze it oh my god why am i scared oh my god why can i not see any color just some sheen no, I've seen loads of people use this. I mean, there's a nice sheen, just not a lot of colour. I mean, did I just pay like 20 something pound for that, for it to just be meh? I think I just did. I don't know, it's it's really nice and glowy, but I might add um, something for a bit of colour. I'm going to use my um liquid blush in fake the flush from revolution i mean i can see a bit of color i think i just prefer a little bit more like i like a lot of blush i feel like a lot of people now like a lot of blush my eyeliner is really making me laugh i don't know what i was thinking i love it but i also i'm like what <laughs> see that is color let's talk about color schemes i feel like i've gone on the extras um so also i went to go see my house and they're doing our road and putting our door on like our windows are on the roof on it's all been made it's just the door stairs up to the door and the inside now um which is crazy and i just can't believe there's like a month to go i can't fathom i've not bought everything like i was literally thinking the other day i was like bathroom mirrors i've not even thought about it but if you're looking for some don elm and home base have really good cheap ones um, so I'm probably not going to get cabinets or anything because I feel like they just get cluttered and messy inside. Like I need to make sure that I'm using the actual products I have, but we will just see. I'm going to get some mirrors this month. We need to sort a dining table out. I picked my sofa, but I can't get that until we have a date, which we don't yet. Um, but yeah, colour scheme. So the hallway, I saw someone oh i just hear something i saw someone have like gray paneling in the hallway and i've really really been thinking about it recently um i'm not a big fan of gray furniture but i loved their gray walls it just looks so nice so thinking about that i also thinking i've also been thinking about um having it like blue and white like um like i imagine like a little navy or like baby blue staircase going up or like a turquoise staircase going up with turquoise pa half paneling on the wall 
I feel like that could be really nice. I think you have to wait in new builds to paint for six months, so that's going to annoy me a little bit because I kind of want to just like get in there straight away, but I don't want it to crack, so... Because this room has already been cracking because we only left it just, I think, two weeks for the plastering. Although it was all dry, they said to wait a week, we waited a bit longer, but... And um, there's just like quite big cracks to sort out. There's a really big one there. And then behind my bed, there's one coming. But like I'm moving, so it's not my problem. <laughs> so that is the vibe. Now I've spoke about it, turquoise is calling my name. Because the kitchen and the bathroom, one's neutral, one's blue. So I feel like the turquoise would be like a quite nice mixture. Then... Our living room, I want a green one. I really want a nice green sofa. I want it to be green. Green wood, plants, like a little haven. Like I just thought that would be really nice. Then, let's have a little think. What's next? So, I would love a photo wall up the stairs as well. I love it when people do that. But I'm also loving half panelling as well. So, is that going to be too much? Um, not even thought about the landing. But I think... I want our bedroom to be navy. I really want a colourful house. I feel like, you know, if you went to like an Airbnb and they designed it really unique and quirky, I feel like I'd love to have a house like that. So we'll just see. I'm thinking of doing um, navy um, in our bedroom. And then the office is going to be black and orange. I want like black a black accent wall with like pictures, maybe some a bookcase. Um, and I want a really cool corner desk because um, I've got like a big monitor set up for work because I need a monitor because I'm like going in between spreadsheets all the time. And then Owen has a MacBook and I've got like Mac. No, Owen has an iMac and I've got a MacBook. So I feel like that could be on one side. My work stuff could be on another. So like half YouTube editing, half work kind of thing. So yeah, this video is going to be long so I'm rambling now. But that should be fun and then i want my dressing room which is going to be the second bedroom or third bedroom the smallest is going to be an office because um we're both i work from home full time and owen's going to be doing half and half so yeah my dressing room is gonna be pink and green like a really colorful bright room i just want to make it really fun i want to have a pink sofa um I'm not really like been a, I mean, look at the nails, but I'm, I've never been one of them people that's like, oh my God, I love pink. I'm obsessed with pink, but I feel like I just want my dressing room to just be really cutesy. And I've already found like a pink sofa I'm going to have. And a vi it's like this vintage looking green dressing table. Um, I'm going to probably get new Ikea packs wardrobes, but we'll just see. Um, but yeah, that is sort of the vibe I'm going for. Um, I also have been looking to get some really nice garden slabs. Um, I was going to get decking, but I think the slabs are just a bit cheaper. And maybe decking could be for next summer. Um, but because we move in in summer, I really... Have I forgot any liquids? No. I really want to have a really nice garden for summer. I don't know if it'll work. I mean, we're getting grass, which is a plus. But I'd like to have three quarters of the garden with slabs. Um, I found a really nice, like... You know, like a gazebo that you put up, but not just like a flimsy one. Because um, I had a gazebo two years ago and RIP, it blew away in a storm. Uh, that's like eight quid down the drain, but let's not even talk about it. So I'd really, really like to do that. Get a really nice furniture set. Uh, just I feel like having a really nice garden is really important to me, especially in the summer months. I'm praying that none of this is out of focus, but I hope you like I'm, I'm not gonna lie a lot of you are probably thinking like what but i feel like it will all work like i remember i was talking to some of my friends and we'd gone for a coffee and i was explaining the office and they were all like but then when you show them the inspiration they're like oh i see like it sounds crazy but i'm literally just gonna be getting like a really cool orange armchair i'm kind of thinking like a sofa bed and a black wall but like i'm acting like it's all it's just gonna you know what i mean <laughs> It's all going to look really nice once it's done, um, but it's just a whole process. So, yeah, if you've just got a house, please let me know what furniture you're getting. Um, I really, um, I wasn't too fussed about getting a corner sofa, but Owen really wants one. So we're going to get a corner sofa. 
um i picked that i just need a day um it says it only takes a month to arrive which is good but like i imagine it's horrible that'll just be ugh, a pain i think we can see it but it's not near here but we may have to ch take a road trip see what we're doing about that i'm just gonna go in with rhubarb and custard blush this looks cute god my face is a bit orange you know what really annoys me i always get orange like all around here because of my foundation into my hair i'll come back once i've put on my eyelashes i've got two new ones to try um i've used them both before but i haven't purchased them in a really long time um these are from pound lashes if you haven't heard of them please check them out they're faux mink these are 199 these are literally 99p they're so good this is not sponsored um i just love them so they're high maintenance i hope you can see that i can't check um i'm just filming off my phone and then these are bossy these are a bit cheaper but they look really good um i love high maintenance though i think i might try them but i literally bought six pairs gave a tip and delivery and it was 10 pounds for all the lashes so i need to cut these down just went off to eat my food but here are the lashes i felt they're really nice i've just been snacking on these as well this i mean i've ate them all in a few days which is bad they're mini chocolate caramel crisp bites from asda i'm obsessed with them but yeah let's do our lips or oh, one more also, I know these lashes are huge, but that is just how I like them. I love really big lashes. Um, I know they're not going to be for everyone's taste, but they have some in the name Prin. And I feel like they're a really good smaller lash from Pound Lashes. Um, so, I'm going to use Morphe Sweet Tea for my lips. I'm not going to overline them that much. I'm just going to draw on the line. Then, I think I'm going to use... Honey Love Matte Lipstick. So that is the makeup done. I just need to literally sort the orange out in my hair now from the foundation. And then, I don't know what to do with my hair. I was going to wave it because it's quite, I don't know. I just felt like waving it or curling it, to be honest. Something different. Um, oh my God, my eyelash is sticking to my bottom eyelashes because of the glue when I'm like, right we'll do that pick an outfit and then i'll come back and end the video but we'll see if i can make the outfit cute as well because i've not fake tan that means i'm not getting my legs out so guys here's my finished makeup i'm just wearing it literally a green shirt to match i'm late that's why i'm filming in the car but i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope you enjoyed talking about the house and exciting things to come see ya see you next time bye